Hello. Uh, in October last year, I was very privileged to be asked to come and join about 40 other writers, many of them much more distinguished than me, uh, at uh, the Extinction Rebellion camp on Trafalgar Square for the launch of Writers Rebel, a loose confederacy of writers who are all trying to respond in their own writing as well as in their own lives as citizens to the ecological emergency. And I, I, of course, was delighted to be invited, but I also worried about what to read. I thought I could read some prose of mine, but none of it seemed to do the job, really. Uh, and so I read, amongst other poems, this brief clarion call to action by the great Zen poet, Californian poet, Gary Snyder. Its title is for the children, and it's for our children that we need to be thinking now and planning to act now in the aftermath of this pandemic, because there will be a lot of people who will be clamouring to go back to the bad old ecologically ruinous ways that lead us to crises like this pandemic. And it could also be, if we're lucky and we work hard, the beginning of a real transformation in our society and in our economy towards something that values life and future generations. So this poem will always be resonant. For the Children by Gary Snyder. The rising hills, the slopes of statistics lie before us. The steep climb of everything going up, up, as we all go down. In the next century, or the one beyond that, they say, Our valleys, pastures, we can meet there in peace, if we make it. To climb these coming crests, one word to you, to you and your children. Stay together, learn the flowers, go light.